So we have now got the premiere episode for the new Walking Dead series, Tales of the Walking Dead. This episode is called Evie and Joe. And if you haven't seen the episode and you don't want to get it spoiled for you, do not listen to this review because it's going to contain full spoilers. You've been warned. <laughs> I feel like this show has been talked about for years and I'm shocked that The Walking Dead actually done two spin-off shows before they even got to Tales of The Walking Dead. This I feel like people have been talking about a show like this and a, a what-if show for years. And I, I'm really glad we are finally getting to this point. When they announced the cast back in... I can't remember. It's, it was a while ago when they announced the cast. I recognised no one except for Olivia Munn and Terry Crews. Olivia Munn was like, oh, that's cool. See what she's going to be like. Terry Crews I wasn't pushed on. Just because he's an actor who seems larger than life. He's He's got such a large personality. I thought he might be really odd in the Walking Dead universe. Same thing happened a couple of years ago when Mercer was first introduced in the comic book. Seven goes, oh my god. That should be The Rock. I was thinking, no, why would you have The Rock in a secondary character role? Not only why would you put him in a secondary character role, but why would you want him in The Walking Dead? He would dominate the screen. At this point, Rick was still in the comic book, or in the show, so you're probably like, okay, you see Rick and The Rock together, you're always going to focus on The Rock and never about Rick Grimes. So I was really glad, of course, when they didn't go down that road, but having Terry Crews here, even watching him at the San, San Diego Comic Con, I was just looking at him like, this guy doesn't feel Walking Dead, and this episode, it had moments I enjoyed. I didn't hate the episode, but I'm really hoping it it gets better. There's stuff here that I didn't like. It The episode went for more of a comedic tone, which I think they said beforehand that each episode is going to have its own feel to it, and the comedic tone this episode... I really didn't like. We find out that it's been a year into the apocalypse. To the point they're in. Terry Crews' character has been living in a bunker. All this time. He leaves to go find this girl. After the death of his dog. And then on the way to find a, a girl. He comes across a different girl. Olivia Munn. Who first they don't trust each other. She holds a gun to him. Makes him drive her around. After a point where they take down. Six walkers together. They immediately become friends they trust each other completely and then they start going on their adventure together until the point when joe's bike gets stolen from some random guy it's revealed that the gun was empty the whole time so then joe gets pretty angry she gets pretty angry and they go their separate ways but the guy who robbed the bike left him with a a lamb or a sheep which i think are the same thing so we got an animal in the episode but the whole reason for this episode was for Terry Crews to find this girl he likes and then for Olivia Munn to go and find her husband. She goes to where her husband's last known lo last known location was. He's not there anymore. Nothing said beyond that besides she just says, I hope you made it. For all I know, he could be a character. No, his name's Steven. I don't think we've ever met anyone called Steven in The Walking Dead. This actually does take place in Ohio, which from memory from World Beyond, that's where the campus colony is. Could be wrong, but from memory, World Beyond takes place in Ohio. Anyways, and then Terry Crews' character, Joe, finds Sandra, I think her name was, which is the girl he had been searching for. He's the one that she was communicating with before the apocalypse. And we get the reveal that she's now crazy. She let... One person got into her bunker, so she killed him, and then it kind of gets revealed that she just started letting people in just so she could kill them. So, you see, she puts makeup on. You think she's putting makeup on because she's happy to see Terry Crews and they're going to have some fun. But, no, she's putting makeup on like she's the fucking Joker. She looks psychotic in the makeup. She then tries to lure in Olivia Munn's character so then she can kill them both. Ends up they kill her and then they start to get ready to leave the bunker. She comes up behind them, axe still in her chest, and they go, oh my god, she's here. I don't know why. They, then they start to panic and leave quicker. I don't know why they didn't just put her down. They're a year into the apocalypse. I get Terry Crews doesn't have as much kind of wit walkers because he'd been in the bunker so long. Olivia Mum was out there for a year. Plus, why 
run off in a panic when you can just put it down. It's literally one walker. Also, why are they leaving the bunker? This bunker bunker is like a sanctuary. If Rick and the group had found this, if Morgan and the group had found this, if anyone had found this, they would stay there. It's a paradise. Of course, you don't have crops or anything, so it's not a permanent position to stay in. But it would be a good place for them to stay in there until they got their kind of, until they figure out what they want to do. It'd be a good base camp instead of sleeping on a bridge like you see her, Olivia Munn's character doing at the end of the episode. It'd be a good place to sit there and make a plan of what they're going to do. But they do not. They reveal that, okay, well, since they both survived, their plan is now to go off and find people. Is this the end of these characters? Are we going to see them in season two? I don't know. I don't know if they've actually revealed if any of these characters are continuing characters. I wouldn't be surprised if we picked them season two and it just like picks up five years into it and they're now part of a community. They're married or whatever. Now I'm expecting if we see them again, it'll be a big time jump into it. But I'm not going to lie. I was very underwhelmed with this episode. There was moments. I liked moments. Like I liked the part where the dog at the start that was pretty cool the walkers just seeing terry cruz's kind of apartments where he's living on the ground that set up and the setup he has above while the traps all that was pretty cool it really great to show that he had taught about this for a long time but then like the storyline with the crazy girl at the end that all just felt really really rushed it just felt like they were meandering for the first half an hour and then like oh shit these are 40 minute episodes we got to get to the end pretty quickly and then of course, we get what we got. Would I be disappointed if we never saw these characters again? No. Am I immediately in a hurry to rewatch this episode? No. Did I enjoy it? Sort of. Am I glad to be back in the Walking Dead universe? Yes. Am I excited for episode 2 and 3, 4, and 5, and 6? Yes. I'm excited to see what's happening moving forward. I'm glad this is not the first episode of a series following these two. I'm glad that... The next episode is a completely different story. We got a trailer at the end that gets me excited. The fact that this is an anthology, an anthology show. Couldn't get that word out. That's what makes me more interested for us moving forward. Because these two characters were not great. Terry Crews. My biggest complaint going into this kind of whole show was. I'm not going to buy him in The Walking Dead. And I was right. Am I disappointed? Sort of. I would have loved him to love the first episode of the series. Same way I did with The Walking Dead. Same way I did with Fear the Walking Dead. From memory, Walking Dead World Beyond. There was parts I didn't like. But majority of episode 1 of that show. I liked just to see a lived in community like that. And this episode here. There's nothing to really talk about. There's not much of a discussion with this episode. So i'm gonna leave it off here let me know what you thought about episode one of tales of the walking dead in the comment section down below did you love it did you hate it are you excited for episode two or was this episode bad that you don't want to continue with it i'm gonna watch everything walking dead ever puts out it's my favorite show behind me i've got two massive walking dead posters one that i've got signed from walking dead actors on a side note dublin comic-con announced in march ryan hurst is going to be there which makes it the sixth walking dead actor i would have met but it'll be the fourth on my big walking dead poster very excited to meet beta just very very cool but if you do want to see future walking dead content from me click the subscribe button and as always thanks for listening but do you think beta will be in the alpha episode who knows let's find out on episode three i think